Welcome back to Waterpark Rangers Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. The enthusiasm is slowly fading from my voice as Deep Jungle slowly draws away more and more of my remaining life energy. <laughs> I got some enthusiasm left, don't worry guys. We have to slide down the vines again, guys. Having fun yet? Oh. Okay, we'll do it just for the vines. <laughs> That was it. Way to just ruin the good ending. Yeah, it's it's totally over though. Okay. Um, next time I promise that we'll actually say something remotely um relevant. But that was the Cheetah Men theme. Um, the Cheetah Men are kind of. Cheetah. And Sora's they're, a man. <laughs> they're really stupid, like Alf. Alf. <laughs> oh, there's, there's the cheetah man. But what right about now. Alvin and the Chipmunks, the Squeakquel? <laughs> <Don't laughs> uh, like the first one wasn't bad enough, and I watched the whole thing. <laughs> Why would you open them? No, there's the first one oh, okay. with the villain, Fun Uncle Liam. <laughs> I'm to sorry. Regular Uncle Liam. Fun Uncle Liam sounds just like. You don't want to be around Fun Uncle Liam. <laughs> He's like, hey, come on, Alvin. It's Fun Uncle Liam. You know what's ironic? I bet he wasn't very fun at all. <laughs> That's the whole point. Yeah, I get it? It's irony. <laughs> this is also the scene where Clayton's mouth becomes infamously huge. He's like <laughs> really creepy in this scene. Oh my god. Monstrous flesh nutcracker. <laughs> Everyone's very disappointed. Especially Tarzan. There it is. <laughs> the real wait. I have a question to get away from. Oh, he's angry. Receiving pedophile. Um, <laughs> to get away from him. The real question is, how did Clayton trying to shoot the gorilla change anything? Kershack wasn't gonna not just turn around and leave. It's true, but he was, he was very upsetting. He, but he killed. I mean, no, he saved that poor gorilla's life. But it sure seemed like he was trying to shoot that gorilla's head off. For the record, Clayton's pipe. Probably has uh, bubbles in it because this game doesn't like alcohol and stuff. So right up, oh, and it looks like Clayton got attacked. What was also Maybe weird? It was what was also weird is guys. I knew it was him. What's also weird is that you're definitely gonna have to rewind the video and see how Clayton puts the pipe away. It's kind of uh... interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed now. <laughs> it's like he doesn't even have it in his hand when he puts it away. Oh no, the. Monkey Heartless are attacking the monkeys? Yeah, because Clayton became villainous, the Heartless were drawn to the darkness in no, his heart. No, he was attacked! Couldn't you see that? It's clear Actually. he just misunderstood and not the main villain of this section. Actually. Sabor. <laughs> Sabor, yes. Actually, what doesn't make sense is apparently you need a strong heart or desire to control the Heartless. I doubt Clayton would want to kill gorillas that much. I don't know, maybe he has a fear of gorillas. Maybe gorillas, you know... Hurt him as a child or Maybe something. Gorillas <laughs> Maybe gorillas killed his parents. He's exactly. like the gorilla equivalent to Batman. <laughs> exactly. He calls himself Gorilla Man. <laughs> <laughs> the gorillas in the tree may be in danger. Oh Protect God. the gorillas. So you know what that means, guys? Backtracky. Yeah. Go this is like a fetch quest, except there's nothing to fetch. It's just to kill enemies. And once you kill the enemies in each section, you'll be able to free the gorillas that are apparently in danger, but only become visible after you defeat the heartless in the area. Wait, it's true. I just what? Pointless combat against the same enemies, killing X amount of number of enemy Y for Cockhead Z. This is a Memorbiger! Uh, it kind of is. A little bit. I had to throw in a zero punctuation reference somewhere. <laughs> oh, we've never been to this area before, then. You, we mentioned it. It's right. like pretty much exactly the same as the other area, only it's no okay. tense. Donald and Goofy were Oh, Donald's dead again. <laughs> that <Yeah>. was fast. <laughs> This is where Don and Goofy landed. This is literally two feet away from the camp. Clayton How did they not find the camp? Well, Clayton rescued them. See, he's a good guy. Well, maybe they landed by the cliffs, like, in the further area back there. We're gonna go there in a sec. Oh, yeah, these things, um, for the record, they're called Power Wilds. They're a bit more agile and more powerful, as the name implies, than other enemies so far. For the most part. Get it? They're powerful and they live in the wild. Ah! See what I did there? Yeah. Or they... see what they did there? <laughs> what's, so clever. What's kind of cool is like you can get tech points from them if you do attack at the same time they do, and they like stub their toe on your keyblade. Look, you saved that poor gorilla's life. It seems so why thankful. Do gorillas have gummy ship parts? For a second, I thought you were gonna say, "Why do gorillas have lives?" <laughs> 
That's another good question. And I would say that's an equally valid question. <laughs> but I don't know why they have gummy shit parts. Actually, I You'd can be give, surprised. I will give Deep Jungle credit. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hear me out. Hear okay. Me out. It's not the most accurate title for what's going on. It's Deep no, nothing deep happens. Yes. Story-wise, no, plot-wise, no, no, no. combat-wise, gameplay-wise, sound-wise, it all sucks. Yeah, I do hate this place. It's mainly just because the music really gets on your nerves after a while here. Do, 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 Look, unlike you guys, do, 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 do. I can clear through Deep Jungle in like 15 minutes. Well, I can do it now maybe in half an hour, but that's still way too long. It doesn't matter, so half an hour can do something productive like, I don't know. Playing a different level. Playing a... Different video games, solving world hunger, uh, oh, yeah, watching paint dry, you know, worthwhile pursuits. I'm pretty sure we've made the paint dry joke like 15 times. Well, I'll make it again, because it's bland like this level. It really is. It fits the action. And also, I think we're skipping into the Hippo Lagoon now. I oh, was yeah. right. Time Boom. Out. You yeah. have to make Editing sure. Magic. One thing you have to do is you have to make sure that every time you go back and check back with Jane, because she'll tell you where the next girl is. You can't really just kind of guess where it is, because it could be anywhere. Yeah, but if you or generally if you generally do patrol through the level just once, though, um, and just check out each room, you'll find them. Um, this is the vine swinging section. It's horribly designed, for the record. The vine swinging section proves that Sword just definitely does not have moves like Jagger. <laughs> so Jagger's great at really crappy platforming? You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. <laughs> that depends to bitter rivals. <laughs> What if Jagger was paralyzed? <laughs> then then music that would probably be missing an icon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no! Oh, look at that. You no! Jump backwards. This is gonna be the first of many fails. <laughs> slow cap, slow clap. Oh. At least we have that going for us. Glad that still works. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's what I was going for. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so yes, this number one vine is the one that leads you to climb through all the swinging vines. Like I said, if you want to skip all this crap, take the other one on the far side. But you have a penchant for punishment. I really do. Oh! oh damn it! Here we are again. <laughs> right away from the start. Okay. Well, so far, so good. Yeah, um, I actually don't think there's anything this way. Believe it or not, there is nothing over here. You know, just in case you wanted more fun vine swinging. Uh, yeah, it, I don't more know practice. what's up with you in vine swinging. Vine swinging always came really super easy to me. It's terrible targeting. Yeah, it, and then for some reason, you you know, go backwards. It just doesn't make sense. I have gotten a lot better at it, but I still fail quite often. It's never gonna be good enough. Whatever I do is never gonna be good enough for vine swinging. It's just the way it works. Oh, oh, oh I, that one really hurt. Yeah. Just reacting to that, that really sucked. Yeesh. Wah, wah. <laughs> Failure! Wow, 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 wow. Next time, try killing at least one of them. I say, old chap, don't you think you should lose a little weight? I'm pretty sure that the weight isn't really a factor here. I am. Actually, it's amazing that these vines are like, why are they constantly swinging? It's kind of ominous. Are people swinging them up there, like moving them slowly back and I'm forth? I'm assuming this is how the gorillas get from place to place. Well, I guess the game designers did, and I mean, this they got this right at least. They figured that something that was wiggling, you were more likely to try and swing on, rather than just a stationary vine. Or they could have just, you know, made it Congratulations, more. you just completed a great game. You proved the justice of our culture. And that was, that last bit had some pretty sick um, vine manipulation. And now we're back in that place where it's a spiral tree, this time with some power wilds. Ah, deep jungle. Yeah. So relaxing. Wait, Donald's dead. Oh, wait, no, is he alive still? No. I can't tell. He's on, he's on the uh, cusp of death. Yeah, I think he's. He's gotta be dead now. Uh, now he's dead. Yeah, I see the stars. Yeah. Or I should say, he's, oh, he's been defeated. He's seeing stars. Yeah, he'll be fine. There's only one way you can really die in this game. If Sora dies. Yeah, if Sora dies, then you technically all die. Or if when you're fighting. Uh, oh, never mind. It's all secret Boy, stuff. Like... Whatever's. You'll find out later when the game gets really good. Because so... it does get a lot better, I have to say. Like, some things, I have to say, um, get so much better later on, and Kingdom Hearts is one of those things. Kingdom Hearts 2 has the opposite effect. Well, it, it has its moments. This is, how I th this is how I think Kingdom Hearts 2. Utter crap except for the beginning, middle, and end. I know that sounds like the whole game, <laughs> but I'm talking about the very beginning, the very end, and generally the middle plot twist section. 
That's actually a good point. If you, when you say it like that, that's actually that's very accurate. That's a very accurate statement. Actually, those are all the points where you get the most like cinematic fights. You get. Well, you're never gonna let's play Kingdom Hearts 2, are you? Never so gonna do it. Go it. ahead and spoil all you want. So at the beginning, you get Axel and double blade, key, double keyblade rocks versus Axel is always a great fight. Yeah. yeah. Then the middle section, you got Demix. It's extremely hard, but it's the right kind of challenge. Really. It's not like the kind of. I don't want to play this anymore. It's the kind of I'm gonna grip my controller hard, break it, and then go at this guy. And then a thousand heartless right after him. Yeah, yeah, that that was. That and then was you crazy. got the sh sniper duel with Zigbar. Yeah. Right. Then that you was. got card games on motorcycles. With I know. Sword. Which is actually kind of fun in a weird, stupid it was way. Weird. It was weird. It was unique. He played the game quite. I'm well. gonna be honest. I never understood it, and I never will. Hey. I don't think anyone does. No, some crazy Japanese. Once again, stop insulting me and my culture. You're not Asian! And on that note, see you next time in Deep Jungle.